All right, just going to do a video showing how the recent newest Thor film, uh, this Illuminati propaganda uh, Thor movie, is actually giving a subtle depiction of the Antichrist, the man of sin, as 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 calls him. So let's go to the scriptures and just read a couple of verses, read two verses, in fact, that are relevant to this whole thing. So first of all, I want to point out that the Antichrist rides on a white horse. Revelation chapter 6, verse 2. And I saw and behold a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. Now why do I bring that up? Well, there is some very interesting concept art, or comic book art, whatever you want to call it, that is related to this film, that actually has the deity Thor in this film riding on a white goat-like thing, a white ram-type creature, you know? And the, you know, he's riding on it, and he's essentially conquering or doing warfare. In this one image right here, shows him riding, uh, which is kind of funny how they have a goat image, which I'll, I'll get into that later. But you have him riding on there. Here's another interesting piece of concept art that's related to this whole thing. You have him again riding a chariot on these white goat-like ram creatures, uh, again, engaging in warfare, just like the Antichrist is conquering and to conquer, riding on a white horse. Why the, why the white there? Interesting how they put that in. But uh, like I said, notice how it's a goat type creature. Why, why do I bring that up? Well, uh, it's it considering the fact that uh, Jesus separates the sheep, those who followed him, from the goats, those who followed the Antichrist, at the judgment of the nations. So it, how is it fitting that Thor, uh, depicting the Antichrist, is riding on goats, considering the fact that the goats are who follows the Antichrist in the in the uh, time of Jacob's trouble. The goats are, are basically used as an anal a symbolic analogy of those people. So Matthew chapter 25, verse 32 to 33. Relevant scripture on the matter. Matthew chapter 25, verse 32 to 33. And before him uh, shall, be, shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, uh, as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats, and he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. So he got this Illuminati propaganda film subtly showing the Antichrist and the goats who are basically following him and leading the charge to, do, to conquer and to conquer. Because, you know, there is going to be that uh, essentially a showdown at the end of the time of Jacob's trouble where Jesus Christ comes back in Revelation chapter 19, verse 11 to 21, and destroys the Antichrist and his army and takes the goats and then throws them into the lake of fire. So how fitting is it? Because this is how the Illuminati in Hollywood operates. The Illuminati propagandists in Hollywood will use subtle imagery to program and, sub and subliminally put these images in your kids' minds. Why do you think they put out these kids' films? Well, because Proverbs 22, verse 6 talks about how to train up a child in the way that he should go. Well, the Illuminati and Satan, they know that verse too. So they will put these, these imagery, this imagery in their film. Because why? Well, they're trying to program the kids and trying to subconsciously uh, get them ready for the Antichrist. So I want to point that out. Don't be deceived by the Illuminati propaganda out there. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.